This is brilliant, but I like this. Guys, I am so freaking excited right now. A new trailer for the Splatoon 3 Side Order DLC dropped in the latest Nintendo Direct, and there's a lot of cool stuff in it. I do want to analyze the trailer in this video, but I also need to get rid of an elephant in the room first. The release date for Side Order was confirmed in the trailer, and it's going to be coming out next spring. I honestly don't know how I feel about that. On one hand, it's great that Nintendo's taking their time with Side Order. That means my hopeful statement from my Splatoon 3 anniversary video won't be misplaced. On the other hand, however, the faraway release date could mean it comes out towards the end of Splatoon 3's update cycle. I really hope there's enough replay value in Side Order for it to last. More on that later, but still, I'm excited for it either way. Now then, let's get to that sweet new trailer. The first point I want to go over is kinda small, mainly because it didn't get brought up in the trailer at all for some reason. The setting for Side Order is gonna be called the Spire of Order. Fitting name, I suppose. The real kicker is that it's all bleached out, lighted out, no color, whatever you want to call it, and it's set in a similarly themed Inkopolis Square, and there's white coral everywhere, too. I find that last part interesting, because when coral dies, it loses all of its color, and that slowly spreads to the rest of the coral bed as it dies. This bleached coral, as it's properly called, is everywhere. So whatever caused this has infected the entirety of Inkopolis Square, not just the Spire of Order. Now then, the first major thing appears at the very beginning of this trailer. Your player character has a new helper drone of sorts. Based on the gameplay that Nintendo showed, you might be able to fly into the various levels of Side Order using the drone. It must have also been built by Pearl, because not only does it look like her squid icon, she talks through the drone. Going back to that fly-in scene real quick, I'm kind of intrigued by that machine that's in the background. Why is it mass-producing all those items? Is it related to the story of Side Order by any chance? I guess we'll find out. Moving on, it seems like one of the gameplay elements of Side Order involves fighting off enemy swarms at one point or another. What I find interesting about this part is you can see the amount of damage you're dealing to the enemies. And then they just drop a huge bombshell on us by introducing dead fish with an official character model, just like Harmony. Interestingly, in the English version of the Side Order trailer, Deadfish calls themselves Oct, which is German for eight. Maybe that's some sort of code name? Okay, this next part is really big in my opinion. You get introduced to something called the Palette. According to what was shown in the trailer, it seems like you complete various levels to earn currency, which you use on power-ups. My one question about this part is, are there branching power-up paths, or is it gonna be like a thing where you unlock them one by one? I'm still really excited for that either way. I've already seen a few people say on social media that this is remnant of a roguelike game, which I didn't really know what that was at first. Apparently, roguelike games include ones like Hades or Slay the Spire. So, maybe there's some kind of replay value here? That's why I brought up the whole topic of replay value earlier in the video. If there really is a branching power-up system in Side Order, maybe it's designed to be replayed over and over to see if you can get better outcomes or better runs. I honestly kind of want that to be true because it'll be just like replaying the Octo Expansion only 10,000 times cooler. Anyway, let's move on before I go on another tangent again. The last few gameplay elements that were shown were only up for a few frames. 
from what I was able to gather, it seems like your weapons and gear might look different as you upgrade them. There was also some sort of machine shown at the very end of the trailer, and I don't know if that's a boss or what, but it does look pretty cool. Oh wait, there is one more part I didn't mention. I actually saved this one for last on purpose. The power-ups that you get in the Spire of Order change your player character's secondary color. I wonder if that ties into the story of Side Order. Could the goal be to restore Inkopolis Square's color? That honestly sounds like a really cool story the more I think about it, but I also really want this to be a thing in the base Splatoon 3 game. I want to be able to have one dominant color and just change the secondary color or something like that. Or better yet, customize both colors at once. Please, Nintendo, we are starving for ink color customization. Also, the colors that were shown off in the side order trailer during the palette part look so much like pastel colors, and that is awesome. <sighs> but there we go. That is everything that I could find in the Splatoon 3 side order trailer. I nearly ran out of breath during this video, but I don't care. I am so freaking excited! Even if I have to wait until spring of next year, I don't care. I will be there frame one. I will stream this as soon as possible. Could you tell I'm excited, guys? Anyway, that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching this video and for listening to my excited ramblings. Until next time, this is Tentacles signing out. Take care, everybody.